Live look out of San Francisco where a painful years-long headache running through the middle of the city is almost done. We refer to Van, ne Van Ness Avenue, the Van Ness Bus Rapid Transit Project that stretches from the Mission all the way to Bay Street. Promises to speed up service for several critical muni routes, but the job was a bumpy ride. KPX 5's Wilson Walker on the construction, the delays, and the sense of relief that it's just about finished. The red carpet here is just about finished, and it has been a long time coming. Planning for this project started in 2004. It was approved in 2013. All that was just the easy part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, now we, we have this beautiful bus lane out here, and, and it's concerning. You know, you wonder, are there enough people here still left to use it? You know, downtown seems like a ghost town, and... The overhaul of Van Ness Avenue is finally drawing to a close. San Francisco's grand north-south boulevard has been transformed, and in the time it took, the city has changed as well. Let's get the dirt digging and let's get this project done. The official groundbreaking was in 2017, but the no-turn signs actually went up the year before. It's going to be a big mess, I think. To just surviving in these two years is really hard. Yeah. So and that's what, you know, we really don't know what to do. Those fears may not have captured the scale of what was coming. The job planned for completion in 2019 stretched right into 2020. Yeah, you know, it, it's it's been challenging. Like where we're standing right now, at one point this was just dirt. Brian Buckner owns big swing and cycles at Van Ness and Vallejo. He says the work on top of the pandemic took a toll. Yeah, yeah, we've lost some neighbors. I feel terrible for um, some of the businesses that maybe weren't as established as ours. The city's always late and behind and behind this work. The job is behind, always behind. We encountered uh, dozens of completely unmapped utilities. Uh, we had no idea what they were. They were from the 19th century uh, and uh, unsnarling all of that took more time and more money than was anticipated. SFMTA says the road work wasn't the problem, but the utilities underground. You know, I'm not an expert, but you can almost tell they're looking at drawings and looking at the street and looking at drawings and things aren't where they're supposed to be. And they're coming back the next day, it seems, and, and tearing it back up again. And so, you know, I, I have sympathy for the people on the project. I think it's a pretty complex undertaking. A grand jury report found those delays were likely preventable. The city says lessons have been learned and future projects will come with more accurate timetables. I'm hopeful. In the middle lane of this story, there are, of course, Muni riders. The designated bus lanes are supposed to cut commute times by as much as 30%. Uh, yeah, I, I think it, it probably will help. It gets bottlenecked up right here pretty bad, you know, about the time kids are coming home from school and everybody's going home from work. Van Ness, hardly the only project to run behind schedule and over budget, but it's almost done, and those who live and work on this corridor hope the finish line will bring a new beginning after some very hard years. And, and you know, if you drive down Van Ness now and take a look, I mean, it looks amazing, so it'll come back. No official date yet set for the opening, but Muni would like to get the buses running here in April, maybe as soon as April 1st. We're here in San Francisco, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.